Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we'll recap Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Brace for deception, danger, and intense covert missions as Ethan Hunt faces a mysterious adversary in the latest installment of the iconic series. Get ready for action-packed thrills? The movie begins with the Russian submarine Sevastopol transporting extremely dangerous computer equipment underwater. This device is accessed using a special two-part D-pad. The submarine's crew noticed what they believed to be an enemy submarine firing torpedoes nearby. They fired their own torpedoes, but were surprised to find that soon the other submarine and torpedoes disappeared as if they had never existed. The crew's own torpedoes came back at them, destroying the submarine and killing the entire crew. Ethan Hunt is visited by an inexperienced IMF agent who poses as a food delivery man and brings him a new mission diary. This mission came directly from his IMF director, Eugene Kittredge, who informed Ethan about the key and that it would be used for something potentially devastating. Kittredge also mentions that Elsa Faust has apparently gone rogue and has half of her keys and that there is a $50 million bounty on her head. He adds that this mission involves someone from Ethan's past someone who inspired Ethan to join his IMF. Ethan heads to the Namibian desert where Elsa is hiding. Before a group of mercenaries chase Ethan on horseback in the middle of a sandstorm, he alerts them to his presence. The Merc follow Ethan to Ilsa's girlfriend's hideout, where they fight her with her weapon, and it turns out that Ilsa has been shot dead. Kittredge meets with her and the heads of various intelligence agencies known as the Community, led by Director Denlinger. They report on computing devices called entities. The device is rapidly self-learning, sentient, and has been implicated in several network intrusions, including on Russian submarines. They say that since the entity cannot be destroyed, our best chance is to control it. Kittredge addresses the IMF, just as Ethan disguises himself and uses knockout gas to incapacitate everyone but Kittredge, giving his own mask to Ethan. Ethan knows that Kittredge put a bounty on Ilsa, but a flashback reveals that she is still alive and gave Ethan half of her keys before fleeing. Kittredge warns Ethan that what he is about to embark on is unlike anything he has ever experienced before. Ethan then uses Kittredge's mask to exit the building and shoots Kittredge with a tranquilizer dart. Ethan meets with Benji, Dan, and Luther Stickle to discuss the entity and their plan to capture those responsible. They heard the story of a buyer who reached for his keys at Abu Dhabi's airport. Meanwhile, a community agent named Casper Briggs and his partner DeGus are pursuing Ethan. The IMF trio arrive at the airport for their mission. Ethan, with the help of Benji and Luther, manages to manipulate video surveillance to make Jasmine track the wrong people. Ethan ends up tailing a woman named Grace, who stole the other half of the key. After the purchaser is found dead by a mysterious assassin named Paris, he catches up with her and forces her to help him. As they try to escape from Jasmine and his friends, Benji notices a mysterious object in the baggage area. Luther helps track down the bomb and learns that it is a bomb that can only be activated and deactivated by solving puzzles or answering personal questions. And you can tell when Benji is lying. She also leaves Benji a derisive message saying she is over it. Stuck on the last question with seconds left, Benji looks at the bottom and realizes the code means good luck. He then noticed that it had been empty the entire time. Ethan spots a mysterious man named Gabriel and loses track of Grace, after which he seemingly disappears into thin air. After meeting Gabriel, Ethan tells Luther and Benji that he will complete the mission. Jasmine and Dagos find Ethan and chase him through the airport, but Ethan manages to escape. Ethan follows Grace to Rome, where Grace is arrested by the police with numerous fake passports and IDs, and is wanted around the world for a number of theoretical crimes. Ethan poses as a lawyer and learns that Grace has been hired by an anonymous third party to obtain half of the key. While Ethan tries to sneak away, Grace finds a way to escape from him. The two are then discovered by Paris and tracked down by the authorities. Body, a chase ensues across Rome, and Ethan and Grace are forced to search for the IMF safe car, but Paris is still able to track them. After a major operation, Grace flees from Ethan again. Ethan reunites with Benji, Luther, and Elsa to discuss the creature inside Gabriel. Before Ethan came to the IMF, Gabriel had murdered a woman named Marie, who was close to Ethan. They agree to go to a party in Venice that Gabriel will attend. 
At the party, Gabrielle finds Grace and takes her to Atlanta Mitsopoulos. Ethan and Elsa also find them and learn that Atlanta has the other half of the key and has hired Grace to find the other half. Gabrielle talks about the creature and explains that she knows why Atlanta also needs to bring the creature's key. This creature appears to be omniscient and knows several sequences of events. Gabriel explains that either Grace or Elsa will die before the key is delivered. Ethan tries to convince her not to work with the villains, but Alana stands by her decision. The team scatters as Grace runs through the streets, only to be captured by Gabriel in the canal. Ethan tries to run towards them, but the creature impersonates Benji and sends him in the wrong direction. He is found by Paris, fights her and loses, but Ethan decides to save her life. Elsa finds the two and fights Gabriel, which ultimately ends with Gabriel stabbing Elsa, mortally wounding her. Ethan is late because Elsa is not there. Grace feels her remorse for Elsa's death, and she joins up with Ethan, Benji, and Luther, but Luther assures her that she is not responsible. Ethan promises to protect Grace while Luther goes off-grid to destroy any trace of the creature on the hard drive. He also tells Ethan not to kill Gabriel, as he is the only one who knows what Gabriel needs the key for. The new plan is to sneak around Atlanta, where he is scheduled to meet the buyer of the keys to the Orient Express. Benji makes a mask for Grace to impersonate Atlanta, but when Ethan tries to make a mask to impersonate his brother, the mask-making machine malfunctions, and Ethan has to come up with a new plan to catch the train. It disappears. Gabriel and Paris board the train and kill the conductor, causing the train to travel at maximum speed. Ethan is riding his bike and trying to find a good spot to jump. Grace incapacitates Alana and impersonates her. Meanwhile, Gabrielle and Paris meet Denlinger, who wishes to join the creature. He tells of Sebastopol, who used the entity's network to test its stealth capabilities, but instead took control and caused the submarine to self-destruct. When Denlinger says he knows where the submarine is, Gabriel slits his throat and prepares to kill him, saying Paris will betray him. He stabbed her and fled. Ethan misses the chance to ride his bike to the train, so he must parachute off a cliff and carefully plan his landing. Grace then meets with the main buyer, who turns out to be Kitridge. She thought about taking money as her payment, but she felt like she had sold her soul and refused her payment. She steals her keys, but her cover is soon compromised when her real Atlanta wakes up. Gabriel's men try to chase Grace, but Ethan narrowly manages to break through the window. Ethan goes after Gabriel, but Jasmine and Degas also get on the train and go after Ethan. Grace steps forward to stop the train from going any further. After a long battle, Jasmine and Degas corner Ethan before he can kill Gabriel and jump off the train. Gabriel then sets the bomb's timer and blows up the incoming bridge. Ethan and Grace unhitch the front of the car while the agents try to get everyone safely inside. The bridge explodes and Ethan and Grace have to climb over several falling cars. Just before he collapses, he is saved by Paris. Just before she loses consciousness, she mentions Sebastian and wishes Ethan good luck. Ethan then parachutes out before Jasmine and Degas can capture him. Grace then finds Kittredge and tells him that she wants to join the IMF. Gabriel seemed pleased with his victory, but he realized that Ethan had traded the key he took from Grace for a lighter, and he screamed Ethan's name in anger. Ethan reunites with Benji, who now has the key. Kitraga's voice is then heard saying that Ethan's next mission is to find Sebastopol and save the world. He also wishes Ethan good luck. And the movie ends here.